Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I uh, hope you guys are doing all right. Let's jump right into it, yeah? Oh yeah, before we start, I do want to, again, plug my band. I'm wearing some more Reality Club merch. Check us out. Uh, check out our band and check out the merch if you guys like it. Um, RealityClubMusic.com And we're on all streaming platforms. But, uh, yeah. Back to the gaming. Um, it's been really fun, this campaign. And, uh, yeah, we'll just resume. We need to know what Perseus is planning for that nuke. Park? Anything else in that printout Bell and Woods pulled from the base? There's mention of an excavation taking place in the Ural Mountains, Yamantau. Our insider within the KGB confirmed an active operation. Yamantau? I thought Hudson and Weaver buried that place years ago. We did. Perseus wants to salvage the old mainframe. Dragovich and Steiner must have left some good shit behind. Steiner. Send me in Woods. You're too close to this mason. We can afford zero fuck-ups. Bullshit. You know there's no one better for the job. It's my call. I want Mason and Woods on this. Find that mainframe before Perseus does. I'll contact our KGB insider, Belikov. He'll offer logistical support. Hell, Belikov may want to fly the chopper himself. Whatever Perseus wants to do. It's the same cutscene as the last episode. Yeah, so apparently with the cutscenes, uh, it's something that uh, multiple people have been having issues with, not just myself. This laggy cutscene right here, um, it's supposed to sync up with the audio, but for some reason, it's uh, we're having issues here. See? Man, that cutscene um, issue is, is really bothering me. The first building is just over that ridge. Thanks, Dimitri. We'll radio and we found the mainframe. Woods, you know what the KGB does to double agents. Yep. Duh. If they win this <laughs> season, it's almost worth facing the fighting squad. Hey, I've only one hour of fuel. So after that, you find yourself a new ride. Come on, let's get moving, Mason. All right, now we're playing as Mason again, not as Bell. Um, if this mission isn't too long, and if we can, you know, if it doesn't continue with another mission, I do want to go back and maybe That's do a side quest. Inside, man. Don't let the smell of cheap vodka and caviar throw you. Belikov is the real deal. I think we might have enough uh, evidence. He knows where all the bodies are buried. Bell, continue on. Whoa. Heads up. Scouts on the ridge line. Do it all quiet like? Yeah, you're the expert in quiet. I'm a goddamn onion, Mason. You should know that. <laughs> well, like Shrek? Good kill. Not bad. Let's nah. keep moving. You took a while there. You take one fuck with, I'll get the other. Okay, that's kind of. Come on. Good kill. What the? Did you guys see that? Shit, this looks Woods dicey. Woods is losing it. But hey, if it's good enough, the Reds. Oh, 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 oh no! Wait. Time to pay Ivan a visit. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. <laughs> oh no! We just left him. Oh my god. Should we just snipe them off one by one, Woods? What are you thinking, friend? They got snipers. Don't let them spot you. Stay low. Keep out of sight. Yeah, following you, dude. You know what? We're gonna cover. Oh my God! I didn't see that guy. I was gonna say we're gonna cover our own path. Take out this dude. Did you notice that? Oh, 
Watch out, Woods. What the fudge are you doing? No, okay, so apparently it doesn't. They don't detect Woods. I do. There you go. We're good. Thanks to. Oh god, no! Woods, get him! Woods, get him! Okay, if this was hardened, we would have died instantly. I think we're in the clear. Damn. Look at this place. Why is there dead bodies? They just left. Yes, evidence. See, it's too. In my opinion, it's too hard to spot these evidence. Like I'm prepping the mainframe for extraction of the crane. We find the crane. We find the mainframe. All right, you know what I'm gonna do, guys, uh, for the evidence. I might just look through uh, guides and get it on my own time, so I don't waste you guys' time looking for them. Engineering at its worst. Okay, he made it. Just make, I want to make sure that I'm not gonna be alone. If you know what I'm saying. Oh god. Okay. Combat time. And all I have is the Yamati. We're gonna snipe it up over here. Oh. Quick scope, extraordinaire. No misses. One shot, one kill. Right, yeah. oh, okay, we need we need the sniper again for this. Oh, we're good. What do we have? We have more. Oh god. Oh, thank God. Thanks, Woods. Alright, before you go, I want to check if there's any more evidence. Or anything. Damn. What's up here? Nothing. See? I think they should make it, like, very easy to find. Like, we don't have to go out of our way. <laughs> but that, that's just my request. Rather than a, a recommendation. Because I know that. Can I shoot the, uh... Thanks for slowing down. Is that all? And that's, I think, uh, this Pellington gun. Even though it sounds kind of like what? a uh, animal. Oh, wow, of course. No, Mason, Mason! Ow! Alright, thank god I'm alive is, is, I guess, the big takeaway. Mason, what's your status? Lost my damn gun. <sighs> You're going first next time. I remember when... Uh, tunnel down here. You'll have to find another way inside. Copy that. Station. Woods. <sighs> Great. I remember when Mason was uh, voice acted by, uh, what's his name? Got I like the actor. Australian actor, if I'm not mistaken. No intel, dude. Oh no, I'm, I'm scared. I'm gonna get some, uh, you know. Oh no. Why are we heavy breathing? Please don't be weird, Mason. Damn, it's cold. Okay, thank God. It's just the fact that it's cold. Huh. Crossbow bolt. Oh, see, that's what I was afraid of. His uh, numbers popping up again, because, you know, Mason was... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, brainwashed. Alright, we'll continue on. It's locked. 
Ты что? Ты вражескую атаку на советской земле? Лавины не стреляют в людей. Я в любом случае. Нам пора идти. Ты что, боишься привидений? Я боюсь заблудиться и замерзну от нас смерть. Слушаю твои идиотские байки. Давай уже закругляться с обходом. Whoa, what the hell happened to the game? Guys. Oh. What happened? Oh. What is the matter with you? Yeah, we're gonna have to restart again. I just quit and restarted the game. This game is still a bit buggy, man. I'm kind of upset that uh, we're gonna have to restart that whole mission, most likely. Hopefully not, but yeah. That was not cool. Guys, this game is all buggy. I tried to uh, start it again. You're gonna, you're not gonna see it because I'm gonna cut it, but I tried to start it again and when I wanted to start the mission, it said that I, I just got disconnected for some reason from the internet, uh, no, from the Call of Duty servers. But uh, yeah, we try again. All right, guys, uh, back where we uh, left off, I guess. Ты что, хочешь сказать, Все что наше начальство скрыло вражескую атаку на советской земле? Лавины не стреляют в людей. Я в любом случае. Нам пора идти. Ты что, боишься привидений? Я боюсь заблудиться и замерзну от насмерть, слушаю Здесь твои иди. идиотские байки. Давай уже закругляться с обходом. Мне нужно подкрепление! Man, that was loud. Now we have a gun. We're good. Yeah, it seems like it. Ooh, I do want a knife. Gotta keep a silent gun at least. Okay. None of them had uh, the key. Continuing on. Now, where should we go and find the key? I'm guessing it would be on someone. Ah, it's locked. Ah, it's dark, isn't it? We'll, we'll move on, and if we find the key, I'll uh, run back and try and get it. All right, we don't need the knife anymore. I wonder where the key is for real. Dang, okay, no silent mode, I guess. Reloading. Come on, peek one time. Uh, where's the other guy? There he is. Yes, yeah, I, I read you. You gotta be close. Hmm. Where do we go to look for a key?
Nothing here. We'll try every uh, door, I guess. Hmm. I swear, if I read a guide and it says that, oh, the key was with one of the guards, the main guards. Oh, there's the key. Bet this opens that weapons locker. I'm gonna go open the weapons locker, guys. B right back. Interesting. Well, look at this. See? Ooh, baby. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. All right, that, that's interesting. Oh, I think it's called the Redeemer because this is the gun we used to kill uh, the dude, isn't it? And I will Over have here. my revenge. Oh, thank you for the light. The ruckus you made. I'm Couldn't see anything. The entire Soviet Union ain't up our ass. Yeah, I tried, bro. And look at him. Busy. That's what they pay me for. In here, chief. To kill. Uh, hold up. Any intel? Intel would be amazing. Mason, hop on that scope. Look for something that could lift the mainframe. Lift a mainframe. You see any dig sites? There. What's that? Bingo. Map says that crane is hanging near the old computer room. That's gotta be it. Yup. Is that it? And then we gotta do. Have you found the mainframe? There's a big crane on the west side of the base. Have your winch ready. Excuse me? My my winch? <laughs> Sorry, you're breaking up. We got a Oh my god. Oh, okay, you want to go all out then. Goodbye, Bo. It was nice to know you. Cover. Oh wow, this gun has no ammo. Are you kidding me? Right. Guess we're supposed to keep switching guns. Ah, let's check what's down here. Maybe there's intel. Right, we this. Tell us where the intel is. Like it could hold intel? Alright. It's covering from up here. Got the turret. I wonder if the campaign guns level up for multiplayer. That would be pretty, uh, Pretty nice. There we go. Let's hope this one holds, yeah? Let's move! Nice. Ooh. My 
god. Ellie's so peak. Okay, can't get up there. Oh, that's woods. Woods! I am over the extraction site. Are you ready? We see you, Dimitri. Hold on. We're out of time. We have to jump. All right. Oh, God. Let's go, Mason. What is the mission? Alright. Is the mainframe big? Because if it's too big, we can't lift off. Mason, we gotta get down there now. Uh, uh, no! It's regular size! <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, no, it's regular size. It's huge! What the heck? How is the chopper gonna... Like, it's not even a question of, you know... It's, it's a question of feasibility and it's not feasible. What was the mission? Excuse me. Attach cable to... You go do that, dude. I'm gonna look for some intel. If there are any. Mason, hand me that cable. Ah, oh, okay, fine. Hope I got all the intel, though. Down, give me down. No, I want the redeemer. We're clear, Dimitri. Take us home. Okay, that was an exciting mission, wasn't it? Hudson. Please, no more glitches. We finished analyzing no the main freight that Mason Woods brought from Yamato. And? Perseus was looking for the names oh, of sleeper again. agents Dragovich used in 68. Give us those names. We'll get Adler's team to track them down. Perseus erased them. Fuck me. There's only one place you're gonna find that information now. The Lubyanka building. What? KGB headquarters? Why didn't Perseus get them there himself? I don't know. Maybe See? he's operating without authorization. God damn, we'll come on. Know. But we're gonna do this the Fix right this. way. That's really annoying, isn't it? I mean, it's a buzzkill. Really is. Just got word. Medikov right. is back in Moscow. You guys know the plan. Bell, you with me. Lazar, be ready for exfil. Are you taking him into the KGB with you? Are you crazy? Wait for Mason or Woods to return. I don't need Mason or Woods. I need Bell. He's got the skill we need. You're risking the entire operation unnecessarily. It's not unnecessary. It's calculated. Just understand that if you botch this, we can't get those names. It's over. Hmm. Okay. There's uh, some tension between Hudson and Adler. I know you can do this. Hudson doesn't trust anyone he can't control. All right, back in the safe house. If we have enough evidence to do some of the side missions, I'm I'm gonna do a side mission and maybe end the episode that there. I mean, I don't know how long a side mission is. I'm gonna talk to people again. 
Have you come to convince me that you should be headlining this operation? The long and short of it is that you're the wrong person for this op. I hope you prove me 110% wrong on this. That's on a need-to-know basis. From where I'm standing, there's no reason in hell you need to know that. Hmm. You're to make contact with him and follow Adler's lead. Negative. Digging into the KGB's most classified database would blow his cover and burn years of posturing. He'll get you in, but he won't go near that list of names. We can't take the time to fabricate them. Belikov will get you uniforms, and from there you'll need to improvise. Okay. Strategically speaking, this board is on insanity, which is precisely the type of work we rely on Adler for. Either as Adler's most trusted ally, or as cannon fodder. <laughs> An excellent proposition. I like that, uh, I mean, the graphics, like I said before, okay, the field of vision uh, during these cutscenes. Isn't there something you could be doing? I only get attention. Can I talk to you? I worked with Madame Michelle. Let's see. For three years, closely. I trusted her. But. The moment I began to suspect something, she knew. I was able to fight her off, but she left me with this parting gift. Oh, dang! Park has a uh, huge scar right Oof. there, guys. That's a dirty. Would have never seen that. So imagine my surprise when I read these reports. Madame Michelle, body washed up on one bank, head on the other. Ironic, wouldn't you say? Dark. I call it poetic justice. Interesting. The Tsar. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like for what? The third wheel. Hey, now she's uh, uh donning scarf. Alright, let's see if we can talk to any of these people and then if not, we'll continue on. Here we got Sims we can talk nope. to. Nope. Ah, nope. Can't talk to him. Time to break out your Russian belt. Well, she's... <laughs> you know what this dude thinks about Park. She's a true professional. I don't trust anyone at first, but after Berlin, I realize she's the real deal. Park's one of the guys to me. <laughs> one of the guys my ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell no. KGB headquarters? Just between you and me. And me? And Sims. I hope I never get closer than pulling up in a car and picking you up. This has every chance of going tits down. Up, man. Yeah, I was tits gonna say up. it's supposed to be tits up. Up, down. What's the difference? It's a different saying, man. Alright, yep. we'll talk to you. It's a long way to Moscow. Later. Sorry, I'm trying to find the right. Bah, bah. I turn this off. I think Adler wants you with the evidence board. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's Dr. Adler. What's on your mind? This isn't the first government agency I've broken into. The best are virtually impenetrable. But there's always a weakness. In this case, the weakness is the KGB placing too much trust in one of their own. If there was ever an operation suited to your skill set, it's this one. I handle the talking. You get us the names. Why do you ask? Yeah, well... I wouldn't tell you if it wasn't. 
I don't. He's not one of mine. If I couldn't put my life in the hands of vetted strangers, I'd be in a different line of work. No, MI6 focuses mainly on the perimeter. Agents and client states. Smaller figures within the USSR. They go from the outside in. Belikov is one of ours, supposedly. I'm trusting Hudson here. The man can be a pain in the ass, but he's no fool. Okay. Let's ask him. Scar? You mean this? Is it noticeable? <laughs> you know what they say about kids falling in with a bad crowd? Well, let's just say I fell in with the worst part of the bad crowd. The girl wasn't worth it. Believe me. Ah, oh, that was like a war-related. Okay. What the hell? Park. I didn't expect to see you back here. Less is more. Less talking, less interaction, less commotion. Blend in. It's the last place they'll expect an intrusion, so you'll have that to your advantage. Pretty much everything it's else true. is at your disadvantage. Coordinating infill and exfil. We've had to move mountains to fashion an untraceable route to Lubyanka Square. I'll make sure that goes off without a hitch. Getting you out, however, is another headache entirely. I bet. I've requested updated aerial reconnaissance to aid in planning your escape route. I don't want to run into any unknowns. Our path out of the Soviet Union will be anything but conventional. Thank you. Hudson has his biases. There are people he'll never trust, and certain people he trusts impeccably. It just so happens you fall into the former category. I wouldn't dwell on it. Hudson was leery about commingling with other intelligence agencies, but after President Reagan greenlit Adler's operation, he fell in line like a good little American patriot. <laughs> Remember when I warned you about inquiring into Adler's past? Some of that was likely projection. We're not always proud of our scars. I believe there are better ways to embellish one's character. But in our line of work, it's often more important to diminish the impression we leave on people. I'll be here if you need me. It's cool. I'm gonna say it's beautiful. But uh, I think that would've been too much. But yeah, like there's dialogue options. Makes me wanna try again and again and again. All right, evidence board. Like I said, if we have enough for the uh, evidence stuff, might as well go for it. Okay guys, I think I think I may have the answer to this freaking super hard thingy-majig um, based on the uh, oh my god it was just a lot of writing down trying to find out what's going on it was I got the answer here I was trying to write down because of this uh, this puzzle so this is one puzzle that you need to solve the, bl the red numbers right there's a pattern between the red one like you see that question mark right there Question mark. I'm going to circle it. Question mark right there. Red question mark. Blue question mark. You need to solve those two. Um, find out what number they are um, based on the pattern. So, for example, for red, it's uh, 5, 8, 10, 11. If you go back, 11 to 10, it's 1. The difference in number is 1. So, minus 1, 10 to 8, minus 2, 8 to 5, minus 3, and then 5 to the question mark is minus four so it's zero one and basically the blue circle the blue uh, question mark is one five fifteen nine fifteen twenty one therefore <laughs> the code is zero one one five and what is zero one one five we see here seattle zero one one five now uh, if i'm not mistaken uh, and here as well this is a anagram if i'm not mistaken is what it's called of madison <laughs> and madison the code is 9248. So what do you do? You go here, 9248 first. This the the letters first corresponding to the number. That's the code. And the passphrase is the city which was Seattle if I'm not mistaken. Yes. 
did it, Bill. Wow, now oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Man, that took so long. You don't even know. It's gonna be a while to edit. Finally, guys, we have time for the uh, the uh, side quest. So we're gonna do the side quest. Alright, uh, side quest. Let's try it out. All right, I'll let Mason and Woods know that we're ready. They'll be handling this one. Our source tells us that Aldrich is about to move south across Colorado and into northern New Mexico. That's where we'll intercept his convoy. We can't let a former CIA operative run a Perseus spy factory. Let's put this asshole six feet under. Oh, the lag. This is so cool. I, we never had side quests in uh, Call of Duty, so... And it wor I worked so hard just to I get it. I can't believe Aldris betrayed the CIA. Betrayed the whole fucking country. Phoenix 2-4, this is Phoenix 2-1. 30 seconds out. All right, cool. We're up, Mason. Locked and loaded. Ooh. <laughs> Time to send a message. Mike, Aldrich is in one of those trucks. We hit the ground hot. Watch for runners. We'll cut off the lead truck. 2 1. Provide overwatch. Let's go. Oh, we're just going in guns blazing, killing everyone. Reloaded. Uh, where are you? RPG really Okay, there's a lot of people Someone, yeah. Reloading. Motel Whiptail, okay. $29.95. Wow, back then that must have been a lot. Oh, sniper. All good woods? You with me? Oh my god, I'm missing all my shots. Let's go. Running out of options, Mr. Aldrich. He's finished. Mason, 
So let's get a picture of Aldrich for the CIA family photo album. For the traitor section, you know, the shitty part. <laughs> Got the photo. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Wow. Uh, Magnum. Magnum sounds like AK. M4. Okay, sorry, I'm going shopping over here. Yeah, I see that. Man, this gun kicks. Support, yeah, I'm supporting you. What do I do here, Woods? Top of the gas station, all right, we're running. That's what he's in for. Oh, there's the ladder. What the hell? All right, we're good. That was a, a fun little quick side quest. Good work, brother. Aldrich should have known the two of us would be coming for him. I guess we can't all be fucking geniuses. <laughs> wow, what is aggro? Ah, oh, with the laggy cutscenes. Activision, come on. Or Treyarch. Is it Treyarch or Activision? Alright, well, I think that's the end of this first episode. Uh, I think if I can, I'll just record the cutscenes that are, uh, are not laggy. Maybe if I can go back to the main menu and play the cutscene itself, just so we can watch the cutscene together um, for some of these briefs, because it, it's really annoying. But anyways, next time, next episode, we'll be doing this mission. And they'll be doing this one. Because uh, when I was looking at the guide for Red Circus, uh, one of the intel is going to be at this mission. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a good time. You guys are enjoying. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, I mean, I'm sorry that there's uh, bugs that's out of my control. Uh, hopefully, this game comes out with a small update, a quick update, that fixes these issues. Other than that, I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.